it's not just 3D visual content. The visual content is enriched with audio and tactile sensations. That is all coming from the same thing. The idea is that we, uh, we use sound to hold a particle uh, in midair and we move this particle really, really fast. So you have persistence of vision and then you can see an object in front of you. It's the time difference between each adjacent speaker that generates a, what we call a trap that holds the particle in place. And then we update that position of the trap so the bead moves with it. So it's only the time difference between the different speakers that is responsible for creating that 3D uh, content. Persistence of vision is um, because our eye has a particular refresh rate. Our human eye is able to process visual information at particular speeds, and if they go faster than that speed, we don't we just see one thing. We don't see them as individual things. If you put your ear ear onto any speaker, you won't hear anything. But the fact that they all come together and vibrate this particle at a particular frequency, you you can hear it. Three, two. One, zero. That is the magical part in a way because we don't have any acoustic audio speakers uh, in it. Right now, you and I are chat chatting over Skype. I cannot see your full 3D uh, face and you cannot see my full 3D expressions, but uh, with, if we had an MATD system working on both sides, then it can be a fully immersive experience. Mm -hmm. 